Hello and welcome to another Lick of the Week. In this video we're going to be looking at the playing style of Nuno Betancourt. Nuno is an absolutely incredible guitarist and musician and is most known for playing with the rock band Extreme. He also toured with R&B star Rihanna. I've always been absolutely blown away every time I've seen and heard Nuno play. Uh, but enough about me, let's talk about Nuno. Nuno Duarte Gil Mendes Betancourt was born in Azores, Portugal in 1966. When he was four years old, his family, including brothers Louis and Roberto, moved to Hudson, Massachusetts. Nuno was the youngest of ten. Initially, he had little interest in music, wanting to become an actor and preferring to spend his time playing hockey and football. His first instrument was the drums, which he played exclusively until his brother Louis taught him to play the guitar. While he was slow to adopt the instrument under his brother's tuition, his skills quickly developed after he began to teach himself and he's mentioned in many interviews that he would skip school days so that he could practice up to seven hours a day. At school, Nuno dropped out of sport so he could focus on playing the guitar. He eventually dropped out of school altogether for the same reason. As a guitarist, one of his earliest influences was Eddie Van Halen. However, as he developed his craft as a musician and songwriter, his influences developed to embrace the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Prince, Queen, Paco de Lucia, Al Di Miola and Pat Travers. He loved funk rock. Unable to make a dent in the music world with his hair metal band Sinful, Nuno rose to international prominence after he joined the Boston area band Extreme in 1985. Signed to A&M Records shortly after Nuno joined the group, they released their debut album in 1989 called Extreme. He then provided rhythm guitar for Janet Jackson on her single Black Cat which reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100. In 1990, Extreme released their most critically acclaimed album, Porno Graffiti, which included the tracks More Than Words and Wholehearted. It also included one of Nuno's most impressive guitar pieces, Flight of the Wounded Bumblebee. This was the intro to He-Man Woman Hater, another track on the album. Porno Graffiti gained Nuno the admiration of rock guitar enthusiasts. In a reader's poll in 1991, he was voted Best New Talent in Guitar World magazine. He was also voted Most Valuable Player in 1991 by the same magazine. The band followed up with Three Sides to Every Story in 1992, which Nuno arranged and composed the brass and full orchestra sections for. In 1995, they released Waiting for the Punchline, featuring Mike Mangini on drums. In 1996, they broke up when Nuno expressed a desire to follow a solo career. Shortly after, Gary Sharon became the lead singer of Van Halen. Nuno went on to release the solo album Schizophonic in 1997, in 2007, Extreme reformed the original lineup with the exception of drummer Paul Gary. They recorded an album which they released the following year. Back in the day, Nuno built his own guitar out of parts and the body didn't have a finish on it. He was approached by Washburn to be an indoor C and they asked him which of their guitars he wanted to play and he said he didn't want to play any of them, he wanted to play his own. And they said they wouldn't build him a guitar without a finish on it because it wouldn't sell. They eventually agreed to and it became the N4. They then went on to make a cheaper version called the N2 as well as a double neck one called the N8. Uh, Washburn now make a number of Nuno signature models. More recently Nuno had been touring with Generation X featuring Steve Vai, Ingve Malmsteen, Zach Wilde and Tosin the Basie. They did an instrumental version of Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen doing all the vocal parts on guitar. They also did a version during lockdown featuring Brian May which you can see on Nuno's Instagram page. This week's lick is very similar to a section from It's a Monster by Extreme. It uses alternate picking string skipped arpeggios in the 16th note triplet rhythm. Uh, Nuno tuned his guitar down a half step or semitone for this one as he does for a lot of Extreme songs and I've done the same. Here is the lick at full speed. If you find it harder picking all of the notes, you can get a similar sort of effect using more hammer-ons and pull-offs, which is a little bit easier. If there is anything you would like me to cover, then leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to cover it in future videos. 
I had a comment saying I should do some less advanced stuff too, so I think I'll include that in some of the videos in the not too distant future. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it as it really helps. And subscribe if you haven't already for new licks and backing tracks every week. See you in the next one.